So here in Ireland we have over 30% youth unemployment rate. Um, young people are emigrating every day, every week, every month. Um, thousands of people are actually leaving our shores. The reality is that the, the costs of youth unemployment have to be dealt with, not just in terms of the economic value of that, but the, the social and human costs of it. We see that it's actually costing the um, Irish state um, 3 billion euro annually youth unemployment and it's an issue that has to be dealt with face on. I suppose in terms of being a young um, person myself, indeed from a border region, I see that you know the partition of this island has not helped in terms of economic development, economic development of the region, of the regions and indeed when you ask about the cost of partition I look at unemployment, I look at emigration and I see if we had a better economic model, a model that would actually deliver for all the people on the island in terms of um, the regional investment, in terms of attracting investment into Ireland and indeed making sure that um, town cities aren't cut off from the natural hinterlands, that we have um, even flow of trade. I think that that's, that, that's what we need to see happening and without those kind of um, symmetries we're, we're only going to see our economic um, situation worsen over time because the reality is that we can only ignore it for so long back to um, back to back economies will only hamper our economic development into the future so when you have um, an Irish government looking one direction and then you have um, in the six counties we're supposed to look another direction if we're not looking in the same direction we're not going to get deal with and um, deal with the big issues like youth unemployment and emigration I think first of all, um, the two governments, British and Irish governments, need to face up to the reality that we do need to work as one. And having um, occasional meetings, occasional cooperation um, isn't going to be enough. It's not a coherent strategy for economic development. So we need to see actual, we, first of all we need to see facts and figures. They need to give us um, the realities. We need to look at what the actual costs of partition are. And we see that, as I said, along the border areas. Um, we need to look at all Ireland um, infrastructure plans. We need to look at um, foreign direct investment. We need to look at packaging Ireland together uh, as one one brand, brand Ireland. Um, and, and that's how we will start to deliver. And then looking at, for example, all Ireland job strategies, which will obviously take into account investment stimulus. I suppose as a young person, for a lot of young people, for most young people, um, they don't see the, re the relevance of the border anymore. They don't see um, why it's there. And, you know, we cross the border so freely. Um, we're living in a very globalised society. I think young people are, will have to start making the arguments for breaking down that, that, that border and, and for looking at the realities in terms of the economy that we do connect with people on such a broad um, way. We, we shop, we, um, we travel, we work. And I think in terms of going forward, it's young people that will make the arguments. And I see um, the economic arguments being the strength upon which we do that.